Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Vivian today, but not just any regular old Vivian, even though I'm kind of going for like a standard-ish setup. We're going to be playing uh, as Hipfire only, which isn't that different than the way like a lot of people play Vivian, but I actually made a video a while ago with, I think, scope only on Vivian, or I did that with some character at least, and for whatever reason, I just kind of felt like doing the reverse with Hipfire only, which is the focus of the video. I'm not going to be going for uh, the mindset, I'm not going to be going for the no recoil setup, obviously, I'm going to be sticking to a variation of the standard one. I usually have eyes on the prize in there a little bit, but I've changed it out for Crack the Whip because obviously we're not scoping in at all. Not really going to explain the mine or the no recall setup because they're super self-explanatory. You can see with the cards there exactly what changes from the standard one into uh, those different ones, but we've got One Step Ahead 5, we've got Unchecked Ambition 3 and I think all of them. Yeah, and we've also got Nowhere to Hide 2 in all of them. These three cards are in literally every load I have for Vivian. The reason obviously being they're really strong cards. We also have Runic Ammunition, which I'd say is just as strong as these other three, which gives you 20% lifesteal, just straight off the bat as soon as you start the game. It's basically life rip 2 for free. Then we also have a tiny bit of life steal against the people who were revealed by the drone, which also combos quite well with nowhere to hide. The no recoil one is the exact same, it just has the recoil reduction, and the mine one is also pretty much the same, except it's got a little bit of extra speed when we bring up the iron sights, because we're going for controlling nature, which gives us reset on the mine when we hit people in our iron sights. You see how it works, it's really self-explanatory. So I guess that's all I really need to do for the intro. We'll just go ahead and jump into a match. I'm probably going to stick to TDM and Onslaught, just because I don't really feel like Siege is the best situation for this and it could easily mean we get like a really grabby game. So I'm going to stick to the slightly more casual modes because obviously we're going for a bit of a casual silly setup. I have no idea how well this is going to work. If I remember correctly when I did Max Iron Sights, I can't even remember if this is a video from ages ago or if it was a video that never got uploaded because I scrapped it or whatever, but that video actually went pretty well. I didn't have a hard time really at all. I wonder if it'll be the same going for Hipfire only. All right, well for game one, we've got TDM to Novel Junction. We've got a Drogo, a Cassie, a Maeve, and a Genos. Should work quite well with us here. We're up against a Term, a Sky, a Charlotte, an Eevee, and a Furious. So I didn't really mention it, but for the time we're going to be going for opportunity and chaos booby trap could also be good same as expect everybody but i think opportunity and chaos overall is going to be the better choice and then the loadout i already went through we'll go ahead and start off with some quarter eyes i have not practiced this whatsoever so i'm going to be a little bit rusty i'm starting off with quarter eyes and nimble so we're a little bit faster server lag is definitely still a thing as i just got stuck when i tried to jump damage okay, just kind of here on the left but i guess we should try and deal with the sky she's gone nice i really shouldn't let go of my left click if i'm trying to get rid of people because obviously i need that extra freaking damage term is kind of pushing up on me i guess i'm just going to try and run instead went ahead and just used his freaking F and I'm probably gone. I would have been fine if he didn't slow me. Probably could have spent a freaking day running away from him there, but I've just respawned in a very similar spot. There is my shield. His Q is incredibly annoying and I can't really do anything against it unless my team comes and hits him from the other side or Genos grabs him. I guess midair can also be kind of useful. Kind of means I don't get too big of a buff from the talent because obviously I have to freaking stop firing. Can I please jump game? Servers, can you can you work with me here? Okay, there we go. Fine. Let's get rid of the Charlene. He's kind of low, but freaking term is there blocking. We should be able to get rid of the sky pretty easily. I don't have Illuminate. I'm guessing she's still somewhere behind this box there we go i guess i ended up killing her eventually may have just said my microwave is better than the high-risk servers and honestly i don't know if i would actually contest that that is me probably dead here or maybe we're fine somehow i'm still alive kind of surprised to be honest there goes the eevee as well i don't know how those shots were on target gonna get a little bit of illuminate for the sky we're gonna go over here pop the ult just gonna heal from being out of a combat and then i guess get some shots there's the q hello eevee you are not gone because you just pulled up your ice block genos is on the other side so there we go she's out kind of need to remind myself that i'm not meant to scope in, but honestly it isn't that much different than the way freaking I normally play Vivian. There goes Charlene. Hello Eevee. You are just running in and popping your ice block. A very strange play style I guess would be the way to put it. Saving up four more quarter ice because I already feel fast enough. Somehow managed to kill the Charlene there. Thank you Genos for the heals. This Eevee is so goddamn annoying. I've only got one of my little drones left so I'm at like half capacity but for some reason the Eevee seems to just be stopping in front of me. I actually don't know if the Eevee is just like playing badly or if she's intentionally trying to give me kills. I'm honestly not sure but I don't think anybody else on the enemy team is. Get some shots over there on the Furia. Nice, she's out. Honestly, not noticing too much of a difference in the way I would usually play Vivian, to be honest. There is the term gone as well. He's going for an ult. I should be able to get behind cover. Very strange play. He was in a really bad spot to pop the ult there. I could kind of tell what he was going for because he ran in, but that's a little bit weird. Let's get rid of the Charlene. Nice, I'm dead. He's actually the only thing really giving me any trouble in this match. The rest of the team are kind of free kills. He's here again. Jesus Christ, there is my Q. He can't really hit under me, I don't think, with his melee, but he's going to try and chase me down, I guess. I have a bit of lifesteal and Genos is healing me, but I'm still gone. Fury is there healing him as well, which makes it even harder. That's Charlene going for an ult. I'm pretty sure he's gone. There goes the Fury. There goes Charlene as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult. He's got grabbed midair. I don't think I can really fire under him though. Maybe we can still get rid of him. I'm trying to place myself on the opposite side of where the rest of the team is. He's by far though the thing giving me the most trouble. That's Sky going for an ult. I nearly freaking messed that up. Let's maybe get rid of the Fury over there before I die. No, I kind of wish I didn't pop my ult there. It didn't really help me. It does seem like we're still going to win this match though, which is kind of funny because I feel like I've been playing kind of badly so far, but seems like we're going to win it with a pretty decent margin. I'm 
literally just running around holding left click on people and it's working out pretty well. I guess that is kind of what you do normally with Vivian though, so I don't really know why I'm bothering to point that out. Drogos is just going ahead and fisting the Charlin, since I never want to say again, let's get some more damage on the turn before the game's over. Didn't die, I don't think so. There's the victory, I feel like overall. I did decent, I could have definitely done better, but that was a weird way to start off the video because that felt really passive. There we go, there are the stats for game one. Shoutouts to DXA Gamer and then a bunch of people just complaining about the servers because they were particularly bad there. I couldn't really jump at all. Seems like most of the people in that game couldn't. Going through the stats though, Drogos did a really good job, 16 6 46k. Didn't really notice him that much. I could tell he was ulting a ton, but other than that, he was pretty subtle, obviously, because I was on the floor. He was flying around a ton, I imagine. I'd say Maeve did pretty standard. Genos did pretty standard. Cassie did pretty standard. We did pretty good. 12, 5, 17, 51k. Highest damage that game. Honestly, can't really complain about that stat. Fine by me. On their side, Eevee didn't do particularly good. I couldn't tell if she was bad or if she was like kind of intentionally feeding because she'd sometimes just run in on me and just let me kill her. It was really weird. The Furia, I'd say, did pretty good. She was definitely a reason as to why Turn was doing so decent. Charlin did pretty average for that match, although he does have a lot of deaths, and Sky also did pretty standard. I think really me and Drogos were the deciding factor there, but overall I'd say it was a pretty decent match. It just felt like a weird way to start off the video. I was so quick for like that entire thing. I felt like as soon as I started that game, I was way faster than what I'm kind of used to being, and then I went ahead and bought Nimble on top of that, and I was just moving around the map like it was nothing. And even then, I still managed to die to the turn because of his F, which is obviously the reason he was able to catch up to me, because he just slowed me, and then Fury would heal him and stuff, and he has his Q. It was a pain in the ass to go against there. Maybe that's another reason why that felt weird. Man, no, let's jump into game two. All right, anyway, for game two, we got Onslaught Marauder's Port, we got a Buck, we got a Ram, we got a Cassie, and a Maeve, we're up against an Andro, a Buck, a Strix, and then an Ash and an Io. Did I call that out right? I think I did. They have a pretty standard team, but we actually don't have a support, which is going to be maybe a little bit rough. We'll go for Opportunity and Chaos, and then the same exact setup. Cassie's going for the same thing. Quarter Rise and Illuminate, she's going for Exaction, Cat Burglar, Earth Splitter, Nocturnal, Fortress Breaker, Ensnare, Curse Evolver, Lifelink, and then Bulk Up, so all standard stuff there. Honestly, after playing the first game, it doesn't feel like that much of a challenge. Jesus Christ, just about got rid of the Strix that I did nearly die for it though. Hello, Andrew, you're also really low. Thank you for the double. Luna's nearly killing me. I'm just going to stand here and emote. I feel like that's probably uh, the best choice. That's an angle of Vivian I didn't know was in the game. Okay, throw the mine in there for the reveal, and I'm going to try and spawn trap them a little bit. I don't really know. Hello, Andrew. There was my shield. My god, the lag is making it really hard to hit shots. Seemingly the same thing for him. We're going to throw a little mine there on the point. Did he just instantly respawn, by the way? I haven't even gotten out of combat to heal up. Okay. <laughs> Seems like the buck is nearly gone. Me and our buck are trying to get rid of him and also the rest of them. There goes the Andro nearly. Strix is probably going to kill me here any second because he can hit under my shield. Yeah, there we go. It took him a while. We're actually kind of spawn trapping him. R.I.P. Ram. He's off the map. There we go. We all got killed for pushing up a little bit too much because they were obviously fighting right next to their spawn, which means they're at a massive advantage. It's completely our own fault though. There is a reveal for the Strix. There's my Q. I guess he hit under me there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, I'm in a shit spot. I am totally dead. Well, it seems like they've managed to regain their score. They've actually got a 10 point lead on us now. Ash has got that right click wound up. So I'm going to go ahead and position myself kind of behind her a little bit. I should probably be focusing her because I have Opportunity in Chaos and it gives me a good chance to actually, you know, get a benefit from it. Probably way more fun though to try and get rid of the rest of them. Hello, Strix, you are gone. Hello, Andrew. There's so much delay on my shots, it's genuinely ridiculous. Can we get rid of this Ash? I'm probably dead any second. I was kind of being carried a little bit by the lifesteal. She is still gone, so it wasn't completely worthless. Ram is just doing laps and stuff. I guess I'm just going to stand here and wait. We'll throw a little mine on the top there so I can kind of see what's going on. Hello, Ash. I can see the play you keep trying to make and it's not going to work on me, but she just ulted and I'm obviously dead there. What am I meant to do? I'm stuck in a corner with an Ash who just stunned me. Strix just blinded the Ram. I'm going to run in and try and give him a hand because I don't think Strix has got very much health. Yep, there we go. Thank you for the free kill. Hello, Andro. He's just going to retreat. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult and just get some free damage on the Ash because she can't really block me, neither can the IO. She just tried to ult and kind of failed. Ash ran over here. Thank you for the free double. She is gone. She keeps trying to use her knockback. Does she even have max knockback? No. I don't know why she keeps trying to use her right click. It's not really working out for a hello enemy team. Cassie ulted, so I have vision. There's Andro going for an ult. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's going for something else. I'm very confused, but he's gone. The amount of delay on my shots. I don't know if it's going to come across in the video. If you watch it in slow-mo, it should, but and you'll hear me in slow-mo, which is kind of weird. But honestly, it's incredibly noticeable when I'm playing, and I'm sure those of you guys that have been playing with the server lag, just like me, will be picking up on it. We've got like a 50-point lead on us right now, just because we haven't really been playing the objective. I'm really expecting to die if I keep playing this aggressively. That Andro is not looking too good, though. There's Ash going in with the dash. I was expecting her to ult. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking she was going to do, and I am now dead. What am I even meant to do in that situation? I'm stunned for like two seconds. Hello, Strix. Ram is on the other side, so he is totally gone. There we go. There's the Q. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the ult. I know her ult's down, so that's kind of why I wanted to make this play. Let's get rid of IO first, if I can. Hello, game. Can you work with me here? I'm totally gone. I'm on 300 health. We don't have a support. We have actually recovered a lot of the score. We're actually kind of even right now. Let's get rid of this buck. He is gone. Hello, Ash. You're just running in. Sure, there is my Q. I'm totally dead any second. I guess I'm just trying to distract her for as long as I can. I'm dead too. 
a right click. Guess I'm gonna try and flank the Strix. Oh, he was totally waiting for me. I'm guessing he's got sound on so he can actually hear my footsteps. The blind didn't affect me, I'm guessing for uh, the shield, but we did kill him, so if I die here, it's whatever. We managed to even it out, but there is the defeat. I totally put that down to us not playing the objective enough. We will do another game. I'm not gonna end it off here. We'll do a third one, but honestly, that match was just as strange as the first one. Felt like I played Vivian pretty much how I would usually, just without really being able to counter the Strix as much, because he was far away a lot of the time there. But it does seem like once again, we had top damage on our side. We were beaten out by their Buck and also their Strix, but keep in mind, we had a ROM, whereas they had an Ash. Yeah, the lag was pretty bad there once again. I guess the servers are just kind of ass at the moment. Shout outs to Zero Pixels though, and also, I think, Neptunium, I'm guessing is how you say that name. Yeah, obviously, as you could tell, the lag was making a pretty big difference, but I think pretty much everybody was having that, so it kind of evened it out in a way. But yeah, going through the stats top to bottom, ROM played really weird there. He didn't really sit on the objective at all, which probably would have won us that game. He was running around flanking, but not doing like a crazy good job of it. He was just playing a bit weird. I feel like I did pretty decent. I could have definitely done better, but I didn't do badly. Buck did all right. Cassie did all right. Mave, not as much. 5, 14, 28k is pretty rough. As for their side, Buck did pretty good. Io did pretty decent. Same with the Ash and the Andro, maybe a little bit less, but yeah, Strix also did pretty good. But honestly, I feel like the challenge here is more the lag than the actual fact that I can only hit fire. All right, well, for game three, we've got TDM Trade District. We've got a Liam. We've got an Iowa Sky and a Strix. And we're up against a Talus and Evia Koga, triple flank, and then Vivian and Tiberius, double damage. So I'd say we have a bit of a better team comp, but it's TDM, so honestly, it doesn't really matter. And actually, considering the setup here and the fact they don't have a single tank, I'm going to go for Booby Trap instead. There, Vivian's still going for Opportunity in Chaos, Adrenaline Janky, Snow Globe, and the Strength Predatory Instincts. Going to go ahead and start out with some Quarterizer Nimble, Goddess's Blessing, Eminence Unauthorized Use, and then whatever the sky goes for. I'm going to throw my mine over there and just see if anyone's going left. Guess I can maybe get rid of the Talus here, who's kind of low. This is probably a bad idea. He's nearly gone. There we go. That shield is really distracting. I think Koga is also low. How did I just kill him round a corner? And also, why did my frame rate dip so hard? Hello, Eevee. <laughs> I'm dead, but like, that was a great demonstration of the lag there because I managed to kind of kill the Koga round a corner. Talus isn't looking too good. Managed to get a headshot there, which was really lucky. That is uh, the Vivian. There's like three people here who are low. Koga is just sat in this corner, hit him with the mine. He's gone. I don't really know what's going on with Koga, he's playing really weird. I got a double though, so let's go ahead and make that a triple, I guess. I didn't even kill the Koga that Leanne did. This is a weird game. Hello, Eevee, just about due to that shot. I don't know why I'm playing like this. This is so ballsy for no reason. There's a mine for you. Cool. <laughs> just threw her off the map nearly. That is the Tiberius hit me with bounces. I pulled up the shield. I'm trying to play the angles. That actually worked. He's gone. Can we get rid of the Eevee as well? Holy shit, I can. Double for free. I might die to this though. Oh, I'm totally gone. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Definitely feel like going for Booby Trap was the better choice, but yeah, it's still a bit of a weird game. There goes the Talus for free because I popped my ultimate and just shredded through him. I do like this skin overall. I just find the Q to be really distracting. We should be able to get rid of these guys. I'm probably off the map though. There's my Q just about stayed on and also with 70 health, life still coming through clutch and also uh, the IO. That's the mine dealing some damage. Get some hits on this Vivian. Oh, I'm dead to Eevee. Didn't even realize she was there on the side. Cheeky, okay. Just killed the Tiberius with a mine. Just randomly threw it into the middle of their team and I guess that got me a free kill. Nice, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one just there. Koga, I think he's running in. I don't know if he's actually a player or not. I don't think he is because he's playing like a bot, which is kind of a shame because this is actually be a decent game if he was playing. There goes Tiberius. I'm behind the Vivian as well, so that's a free triple. Thank you very much. Went ahead and finished off Cauterize, although I don't think it's really going to matter because this game is pretty much over. There goes the Eevee. Let's just go and finish off whoever's here. There's the Vivian. Nearly I threw a mine on the floor, but it's not going to matter. There's the victory. I feel kind of weird ending the video off after a game like that because that was a 4v5. I don't think their Koga was playing, but the other two games we had were also kind of just as weird. But I guess for the stats, we did pretty damn good. 16 6, 39k. We did a pretty damn good job there. Closest to us was the enemy Vivian, actually who had a very similar stat. Going through the rest of them, Strix and Sky both did fine. Io did a little bit under average there. I'd say at the end did a little bit over average there. Cogra, I don't think, was playing. Vivian, like I said, did pretty good. Talus did all right. Eevee did a little bit under average, and so did the Tiberius. He went 1-9-18k, which is pretty rough. Don't really know what to tell you. I guess I'm going to end the video off here. This was meant to be like a hit fire only Vivian challenge, but I didn't really feel like it was a challenge at all. Honestly, playing with the lag was more annoying than playing just with a hip fire in like 90% of the fights there. I do feel like I did pretty decent in all of the matches, so I guess I can't really complain but I didn't really have a situation where I had free damage on a tank like if I was up against a Rom or something I was up against a Term who was annoying as hell one of the matches I was up against an Ash who was also really annoying in another match and then supports as well that were doing their own thing and like a Strix and stuff it was just a weird match it was a weird video okay <laughs> guess it has actually been a while since I've done a challenge video so maybe that's why it feels weird but overall yeah just strange stuff thank you for watching if like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see me do next I'll see you all very very soon and as always Stay frosty. A long pause today. Weird video. See you guys soon.